So let's start this topic of acceptance sampling with basic understanding of sampling. What's a sampling? So there are two things. One is the population and second is the sample. Population is the bigger thing. Let's say in the previous example, when we said that there were 1000 items and out of that we selected 80 items randomly and we tested them. In that particular case, those 1000 items were population. That was the lot, the whole thing. And then whatever small piece of that which we selected out of that was sample. So this is how it's shown here. The bigger circle is the population and the smaller circle in that is the sample. So when we sample, make sure that the sample which you are selecting from the population is a random sample because the random sample will represent the whole population. So you need to avoid bias. You need to avoid picking things from one area only. So make sure that whatever sample you are selecting is a random sample because that way it will represent the whole population. So these are two things, population and sample. Once you measure or take the characteristic of that sample, that will be called as statistic. And here, remember that there is a difference between statistic and statistics. Statistics is the branch of mathematics which you study. Statistic is the characteristic of the sample. Let's say you had a lot of iron balls. Now, weight was one criteria in that. So you had a bigger population. Out of that, you selected, let's say, 10, 20 number of iron balls. So you took the weight of your selected sample, which were those 20 balls, and you took the average of that. So average weight of the sample is called as statistic. Whereas the parameter is the characteristic of the whole population. When I talk about this ball case, in that the average weight of the balls, all the balls is parameter. Many a times it's not possible or it's not easy to find out parameter. So in that case, whatever you find out as statistic, which is the characteristic of the sample, you assume that population also has the same characteristic. So population also has the same average weight. So these are two things which you need to understand. Population, sample, the characteristic of the sample is called as statistic and the characteristic of the population is called as parameter. You select <clears throat> based on statistic, which is the characteristic of so based on statistic, which is the characteristics of the sample, you judge or you infer that this would be the you infer that this would be the characteristics of the population. You guess that, that this will be the characteristic of the population. So based on the average weight of the sample, you infer or you guess about the average weight of the whole lot or the whole population. So this is sample and population. Now question comes that why do we need sampling? Many times you cannot test or check everything. So you need to take sample because you want to save some time and cost. If the population is too large, it's not easy to find out or check the whole population. And the second thing is that the test which you are doing, if that is a destructive test, then you cannot test the whole population because you cannot destroy all those pieces. What you can do is take some sample, destroy those pieces and based on that, you guess about the population. And another case where you take sample is when lot is bigger and the impact of wrong judgment is low. If the impact of wrong judgment is high, then probably you might end up in doing 100% inspection or testing the whole population. But if impact is low, you just might want to take some samples, test that and based on that, you make your judgment. You know that you might make some mistake because of sampling. Sampling is not 100% correct. It's not foolproof. You take some risk when you take sample. And we will be talking about those risks, those errors in this section. So this is the reason you go for sampling.